to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be talking about my quad helix expander so before i get into all the explaining and talking about it let's just get straight into the video okay so this is going to be hard to talk about without having any pictures on hand but i will be putting loads of pictures up if you don't like mouths and stuff like that this probably isn't the best video to watch but um that's what this whole bit video is about so yeah so what a quad helix expander is is it's a like it's something you put in your mouth um to basically expand your upper jaw get rid of crossbite um get rid of crowded teeth and just shape your teeth so um I got my quad helix expander almost four weeks ago on so on Tuesday it will be four weeks ago. Um and I'm basically just gonna be telling you about my experience. So the first day I got on, I hated it, I actually despise it. It didn't hurt like it didn't hurt at all, but I could taste so what they do to put it on, they glue it in your mouth. So you can't take it out and I could taste the glue so when I was eating my dinner I got it done after school so I had dinner and like pu like pudding so I didn't have like a full day of eating but it didn't hurt when I was eating it it was just really uncomfortable and food kept getting stuck in it and it was just really it was just annoying I didn't really catch my tongue on it too much but I was talking really weird like I was talking like I had a full mouth of like saliva or like like something was in my mouth and uh yeah it was so annoying i hated it and yeah I could, the glue was awful like it wasn't didn't have any taste or anything like that the second day when i woke up my mouth was hurting so much like it hurt really bad to eat like i was gonna have some i was having a sandwich for lunch at school and i could barely even eat the bread it was that um i had to eat like even just, you know, when you like accidentally bite like that, like with nothing there. I did that by accident. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. And then the rest of the week was kind of the same. And then by the like the start of the week two, it didn't hurt as much and I was getting used to talking. But at the end of week two, um, I kept catching my tongue on it and it hurt a lot. Like, my tongue was still scarred from it. Like, where I rest my tongue is on the roof of my mouth where the thing is. So, when the metal was still obviously like sharp, it's got a bit more blunt now. So, it, it doesn't hurt to touch anymore. But when um, it was obviously first put in, like, it basically just left a dent in my tongue while I was resting my tongue. And it wouldn't hurt, like, putting my tongue on it, but when I took my tongue off, it hurt, if that makes sense. Um, and I got some dental wax to help because on the sides I have brackets you can see when I smile a little bit uh, they were like digging into my cheeks so when I put wax on dental wax ugh, that helped a lot it was just annoying because every time I had to eat I'd set them out and then get some new wax um, so week three, yeah, it was good by week three. But what I'm noticing is for some reason every Friday since I got this on, I've been feeling really sick and like my throat goes really scratchy and sore. And I just get really weird and like, I just don't feel good. I don't know if it's because of this or just me, but it's only been happening since this has been put on. I don't know if it's because like on Friday suddenly it wants to change and it shifts and that hurts and stuff but I don't know. I haven't been, I haven't really seen that much change so I'll show you my before pictures just just as I got it on. Yeah, hopefully you've seen that and then I'll show you my one week in. Yep, two week in and three week in. So I got it done on Tuesday, so every Tuesday that's when I do a, a weekly checkup. So I've got to have this expander on for six months, 
but I'm getting a checkup for two months. Um, I don't really know what they're gonna do then. Just make sure it's all right. Make sure I'm cleaning my teeth properly and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Right, so I'm getting braces on after my expander. But if I still don't have enough room in my mouth, they're gonna have to pull some teeth out. But that's probably the most like unlike unlikely case because the expander is making my jaw bigger, making room for my teeth. Um, but I think what they might do is put my brace on while I've still got the expander on. Uh, but I'm not sure. So in two months, well, a month, I could have braces. But they haven't told me anything. They just they didn't even tell me I'll have it on for six months. Um, I just assume because I've been like researching it, <laughs> like I do. Because when because it's I don't think it's that common. Like no one really talks about it. They talk about the palate expander, but not the quad helix. The quad helix. Um, I've just I'll, sh I'll I would have shown you a picture in the start of the video, but it's just a thin wire around your mouth, whereas the palate is like a big like chunk of metal there and you have to twist this key I didn't get that which I'm glad because that looks even worse <laughs> but yeah I have noticed that um, the actual expander has got wider but I haven't noticed my jaw getting wider I don't know if that's just because it's so little the details are so little that I can't tell or if it actually isn't changing at all but that's fine because uh, we've got like five months to go so how long will I have it for? So I got it March, March, April, May, June, July, August. So by like the time in, in year 11, I should have braces on, which means I'm going to have braces on for fun. But it's fine because I don't really smell all my teeth. Um, as long as I get some nice coloured braces. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm basically doing this video for is updates. So at the end of... Um, my uh, journey, teeth journey, brace journey, I'll show you what my teeth look like and then before I get my braces put on and after my braces put on I'll show you what they look like and we'll just see what happens and see if this is actually working. But yeah I found out that having a narrow upper jaw actually makes you breathing worse and I have really bad breathing. I don't know if it's because I've also got a deviated septum. <laughs> Um, but I can't breathe out of this nostril. Like when I close this nostril, like the air going through is very little, and it's really hard to breathe, especially with a cold. Like when it, when the nose gets blocked, I literally have to breathe through my mouth. But yeah, apparently having it. so basically, if you didn't know, you have two bones, one here, one here, and when you have jaw surgery, what they do is pull all these bones apart. And then you have to put the two teeth back together. So that's why with the palate expander, it moves the jaw a lot more and you get um, a massive gap. But my teeth won't have a gap. I don't think so anyway. And also I've got a cross bite. I'll just show you what that looks like. Basically, uh, these teeth, the top teeth, are not in line with the bottom teeth. So they don't match and they're like crooked. And when I smile, it's not this tooth, it's not in my eye, this tooth. But yeah, there's a lot of things wrong with my tooth. So when I was little, I banged my tooth. And now I've got a yellow, now I've got a yellow spot on it, which is like a scar basically. And then also when I was little, when I first got my adult tooth, no, not when I first got them, but this one. I went to Legoland and in this hotel I was doing a handstand in the pool and for some reason I knocked my tooth on the bottom of the pool and it fell off. Not the whole teeth but I chipped it and I had a massive hole in it. So I went to the dentist and they put a filling in and then I had an ice lolly that same night and it fell off the filling. So then I had to go back the next day, get it put on and it hasn't moved since. I can eat anything with it like apples carrots like anything and it still won't come off um i don't know when i got that done maybe when i was like eight or nine i don't know if you can tell 
but it's straight because obviously the teeth have natural grooves but that's just straight and it's wire but yeah this is what my teeth look like so um in a few months i guess we'll see what my teeth look like soon but my main issue is these canines so my dentist was always like oh yeah they'll grow down they'll come down they'll grow out blah 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 no they're not growing out because my mouth's too crowded even though my teeth are really really small well i've done these kids telling me that my teeth are too small um my hands are really cold wow. um what was i talking about uh teeth i forgot what was i talking about oh yeah canines so basically what they're gonna do what the expand does is gonna widen my jaw and then the canines will drop down and it'll look normal. Like these four teeth are actually like fairly straight. My bottom ones are crooked though. You can tell they're crooked. And then I don't hear they are really annoying. Uh but yeah, I I show my like top two teeth on a top kinda. But I'm not really, like when I, s I smile, I smile like this, not with my teeth, but hopefully when my teeth are straight, I'll be able to smile with my teeth, and yeah, so that's pretty much, oh, I've got to talk about brushing, so I have to brush them after every meal, but I don't really do that, <laughs> so at school, I only get a 30 minute lunch and sometimes I don't have time to brush my teeth because I'm eating and getting food and then I have to brush my teeth but um, when I get home I brush my teeth straight away mouth wash floss and then after tea brush my teeth mouth wash floss and then at night time so I brush my teeth like four times a day <sighs> Which is uh, weird. But yeah, that's it's not really like a big hassle though. It's not like, oh my god, I have to brush my teeth right now. Like right now, I'm just eating a grape, I have to brush my teeth. Like you don't have to do that. It's just like after meals and stuff. But yeah, if you're thinking about if you're getting a quad helix or talking to your dentist or if I don't know about getting a quad helix, if you think that's right for you, then definitely research it because obviously I'm not professional i don't know what all that's on about um then i recommend to get it i mean the first week torture second week dealing with it third week fine like it doesn't bother me anymore like i touch it a lot like when i'm in class i'm just like touching it, touching it but it's not like a it's not like i know it's there and I'm just like, oh my god, it's there. There's something in my mouth. There's metal in my mouth. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, so if that makes sense. But yeah, hopefully all the pictures and stuff helped. Um, I have to remember to put those on, otherwise this video is gonna be just be really confusing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.